Hello friends, now we are going to learn about biodiversity. So here biodiversity means, yes, bio means the living things, diversity means variations. So which variations are present in the living things? Those are present on the earth, that is called as biodiversity. So different types of flora and fauna present on that earth, maybe the different habitat but totally we are going to call it as biodiversity. So different species of plants and animals are present. Maybe as a habitat or maybe as an ecosystem. It's called as biodiversity. Like ecosystem, the group of plant and animals are live together. So only one plant of and one only one species, like one type, is a live one place, is called as a habitat. So different types of habitats, different types of ecosystem. Together is called as biodiversity. So here living things, different flora and fauna we are observing in that place is that is called as biodiversity. In that biodiversity actually what is the use and year means it will be control the environment the balance. If any imbalance that is leads to yes dangerous species or uh, any type of that animals. So here First, the endangered species. Endangered species, what is the interlink in between two? Actually, biodiversity means a uh, limit number of plants and animals with the balance of environment. It's called as biodiversity. Is that danger? So, the danger signal, the danger signal of the species. See, one of the pot, see like red and maybe is a white, tigers are there. Those are now, the number is going to decrease. Is called as endangered species. Those are, it will be called as in that particularly in the red data book. The book only going to give the signals. Yes, the number is going to decrease. Maybe whatever the pollution or hunting, uh, natural disasters, whatever the causes are there, is a proper balance not there, means they are going to decrease the number. So that is called as endangered species. They are put in that red data book in the worldwide. So in the worldwide the book is going to mention that which are as an endangered species. They are going to give as a red symbol or signal to in future days we are not going to look the type of animals. This is the first. Next year okay diversity means one type of species we are going to lose. So that is an imbalance. One more is endemic species. Endemic species means here the type of animals it will be present only the restricted area means the particular area like the kiwi birds are there it will be present only in the New Zealand we can't observe any other way so that is a restricted only the particular area is called as endemic species or only the part like is a Hyderabad pigeons are there type of pigeons presents only in Hyderabad like kangaroo is there presents only in Australia so like that species is called endemic species, they are not going to in red data book. Those are sufficient number, but only the restricted areas, the type of species, the type of animals, we can't observe in anywhere. So that is an endemic species. If like that means some type of species, we can't look in everywhere. That is also is a near related to diversity. Uh, yes, commonly the flora and fauna also, flora and about the plants, fauna about the animals both are together is called as like maybe the habitat or ecosystem finally diversity or biodiversity different type of flora and different type of fauna it will be endangered species like some flowers are there cycas those are nowadays the number is going to decrease so that is also it will be going to put in red data book so in future days we can't look that type of flowers so that is and fauna type of animals also we can't look in Next generation, these two flora and fauna which is as endangered species, it will be going to put in red data book. And finally, environment imbalance, okay right, if endangered species like that it will be continue, how like effect on biodiversity, if like environment imbalance, like if tigers are completely lions, whatever the all carnivores, it will be completely decreased in that forest. How like effect on us and remaining organisms means like all carnivores it will be destroyed or extinct from the earth means herbivores will increase. Like which one is going to take the only plants that one it will be number is more increase. So here increase means it will be effect on us directly they will come out from the forest 
maybe the forest is going to decrease plants now they are going to take the plants automatically the plant number is going to decrease maybe the oxygen scarcity so like that the uh, environment going to imbalance if any there if carnivores are increased that also is a problem to us they can't going to chance are remaining herbivores are remaining animals so here biodiversity mean it should be all animals is the proper limit or number otherwise the environment is going to imbalance so here when the biodiversity is a sufficient is perfect is there that will environment is a balance otherwise maybe is a endangered so maybe is a endemic species that leads to environment imbalance so because of that you should give protection and without pollution and without hunting we are going to mention that biodiversity the proper number and uh, environment also it will be balance so this is topic about biodiversity